uh, I often talk about um, the need for aftermarket parts becoming, you know, greater and greater because the original parts are not available and so somebody is going to eventually step into the gap and uh, make an acceptable replacement. These are examples of what original good looks like. This is an early, apparently this is a severe, like the actual correct one. Um, that's what I'm told. 6139, 6,000 uh, proof. But you can see, this is what they looked like when they were new. With this black, black, nice black indicator ring. And this is a true Pope. This watch is unrestored, completely original, with its yellow indicator ring. That's what they look like when they're new. Seiko, for whatever reason, they made a number of different indicator rings and divers and chronographs. Divers, like the 6119, 6020, and stuff like that, they tend to, their rings don't fade. It's really odd. It's an odd thing. They, they simply don't. They, I, I don't know what Seiko did differently, but these indicator rings for the 6139, 6000Xs, they fade. The black fades to gray, and the gold fades to white. You can see examples. That's an unrestored original 6139 6000 proof. Uh, it has a service sweep on it, but you can see the color of the of the of the ring. And these can fade all the way down to gray. Uh, I should have actually gotten one of those out. Uh, let me do that. Kind of examples of each. This yellow ring is faded. It's not super faded. They can fade to almost a pure white. Like, uh, that one's pretty well faded. You'll notice only the exterior surface that saw the sun faded. Underneath, it's still the correct yellow. And there's no real way to restore this. Here's a black ring. And you can see it's black material, completely black underneath. And yet on the top, it fades almost entirely to this sort of chalky, ashy white. Now, interestingly, when I was digging around, I did actually find this is an indicator ring for a mid-sized uh, 6119, 60, uh, 6023 diver. And this one came out of a watch, but they all look like this. They don't fade at all. I have no idea what Seiko did differently, but these fade. So it's the difference between, you know, so we move these out of the way now. So it's the difference between having, oops, and this is an all-original watch. It's not only all-original, it's all-original to itself. That's the original indicator ring, okay? But the difference between that and this, setting aside the fact that this is a true Pogue, I mean, in terms of how they look, it presents a very, very different look. And some people, I mean, it makes the, you know, they have the unfaded indicator ring. That's kind of a, that's kind of a big deal. Same thing, too, with, you know, you get something like this with a nice black ring. I mean, these are so impressive. I think that these blue dials are just the business. But the, you know, with that chalky ring, it's and you just can't avoid it. And something like this where it's, like, got a good dial and good hands, and it's just that faded ring just is just a, is just a killer. You can't get the originals. They simply don't exist. But somebody has finally stepped into the void. So we are now in a situation where we can buy on eBay, Seikosis sells these, these new replacements. And I have to say they're actually pretty good. They're pretty good. There are, though, a few tells that, and that I'm going to go over in just a second. But... Let's let's see. Let's let's just have some fun here for just a second. Uh, hang on for me. Ooh, I'm a little shaky this morning. Uh, let's see now. Uh, okay, okay. Sorry for all the trouble. Hang on just one second. Okay, so let's look at that. There's your. There's a an original gold dial. Okay, right there. And so if we look at this with the faded ring on there. You can sort of get a sense of what it looks like, right? Let me straighten this out. Okay. That's a little better. Get a sense of what it looks like with that with that faded ring on there. And then you try it with this. 
new ring. I just got these in the mail. Come on. Would you sit down? Let's compare it to the True Pogue. This ring is slightly faded. That's a really good original color. Let's look at that compared to the, the color of an original on the underneath. Look, it's a perfect match for original unfaded. They got the color exactly right. That's amazing. <laughs> the font is correct. Note it's, it's sort of a Z, darn it. It's sort of a Z top three. Hang on a second. Not rounded top and bottom three, but the top is a... Gosh darn it. I am so shaky this morning. I need to have more protein. That's the thing, man. When you go to the gym, you have to have your protein. Uh, and I didn't do protein today. Good thing it's a Saturday and I'm not working on anybody's watches but my own. But you can see that there's that correct font on the threes. They got the fonts right. They got the thickness of the font is correct. The width of the center bars is the same that's correct <laughs> they did a pretty fantastic job there are a couple tells though i'm trying to think two things i noticed when i was looking at them closely these rings the originals looking at the surface here the originals should have See if I can find one that's no, that's not really gonna help us. Let's see if I can find a better ring here that will show us that surface. Yes, okay. Let's see if I can do this. Okay, so look at the surface down there. See that by that triangular pip? Look at the surface. And see, it's got the radial lines, even spaced lines all the way around it. That surface is there. Okay. And we look at the similar one, the black dial, the black ring. This is the reproduction. And we look at that same surface. And there, I mean, it, there's sort of circular markings but it's a completely different thing. It's not those even scribed lines. Let's see if I can do this without destroying anything. Come on. Uh, you can kind of see it there. Basically, you see the even, beautiful, even, perfect lines here on this one. And this one, it has them, but they're sort of, it almost looks just like sort of semi-random brushing. The other thing is that the, the big, 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 easy to spot tell is the pip. Where is it? Here we go. Loom is completely different. The outline is more or less correct. No, it is correct. But the loom, the loom in the originals is tall, puffy, like the dial loom. This is, darn it. This on the reproduction is flat printed with a wide silver line around it. There is a silver line on the originals, but the loom paints over it. You'll notice the loom is sort of a big grain salt looking thing, and that's flat printed. Those are the only real towels, but I think But um, I could, I could um, loom this one to match the original, and then you'd have you'd really have something special. Because these replacement parts, you can't get it. The only thing I think it's a real danger is people faking them, especially for something like a true pogue. Because having an unfaded indicator ring on a true pogue would be a big boost in value. So those are the things we want to look for. We're not seeing the scribed lines on the surface. It looks more brushed, 
from the mold, but the big tell is the loom pip is flat printed and the loom section is smaller. And so the, the silver printed frame around it is thicker, but you know, it's, 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 it's good. I mean, if you're going to do this, I mean, you have that, which is stock and original, but this, that's an improvement. And, and I have to tell you, I would not hesitate to use one. Um, I mean, I'm considering, I mean, this watch is completely original to itself. So I don't think I'd do it to this, but if I had one that I was putting together, I might consider it. I mean, cause that would, that would be a pretty big improvement in how this looks. And I don't think it would really, gosh darn it. I don't think it would really bother me. God, I cannot put this straight. Anyway, I don't think it would really bother me to have uh, <laughs> this yellow ring in here because that would, I mean, it would certainly improve the look of the watch. If I, if I touched up that, I don't think it would bother me at all. You know, that's the thing. I think the biggest danger is somebody's going to use them to doll up a watch that is not, you know... That, that had had problems and try to pass it as fully original and obviously it's not but you know unless Seiko actually gets around to redoing now that's the thing you see look what an improvement you have that old gray faded thing you put this on there and all of a sudden this looks the business these it's so critical for these to have that unfaded ring I'd use I'd use the black ones in a second but I'm very partial to these blue dials I don't know that's about it so, key points then, the loom has to change and looking for those scribed lines around. Anyway, that's about it. Okay.